of that one? It's a great song, but that's it. <laughs> I was taken to Lebanon when I was maybe seven, and I have a very strong memory of being in the taxi, and I think it was a taxi from the airport when I just arrived, and hearing some, something on the radio that the taxi driver was listening to, and asking about it, because it, it, it really struck me. And it turns out it was Um Kultum singing, I don't know what song it was. I'm a big fan of a lot of different kinds of music, and that never went away, that genre of music. Um, so it was easy to dip down for this and get back there. Partially it's because I'm steeped in jazz and, you know, I mean, I'm steeped in other stuff too, but whenever you, whenever it, whenever you know you have musicians who are going to improvise, I mean, any time you've got that going, it's jazz. <laughs> when it's an Arabic musician doing it, I would say, it, it's all semantic, we're just using labels, but, you know, when I hear a great uh, Arabic oud player improvising, uh, it may as, that might as well be jazz. A Broadway show does not usually give you in any freedom. Um, you're usually in a pit, there are the notes, you just got to do what you got to do because there's uh, 30 people on stage and a turntable that's going to move a certain way and lights that are programmed and you know, you just have to stick to it. Uh, with this show, there's uh, a, a tremendous amount more of improvising than with any, show, any Broadway show. Um, and uh, there's opportunity because you have this band on stage and they're, they're in uniform, um, but they're playing a type of music that has improvisation in, them, in it. And they have an opportunity several times to uh, uh, let music come from, from the heart. Uh, it's not something you hear much or ever on a Broadway stage, and I'm, I'm noticing that audiences are really loving it because they'll, they'll spontaneously applaud after a solo, like at a jazz show or something like that. So I'm glad, glad it's working out.